In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to apply neon face paint to a portrait photo. Let's roll. All right, so we've jumped into Affinity Photo and this is the portrait photo that I want to apply the neon face paint effect on. Now, I want to start off by darkening the background just to let the face pop more, let's say. So I'm gonna create an exposure adjustment layer right around here. And I'm gonna decrease the value quite a lot. So something like this. And now I'm gonna use the inbuilt layer mask to mask out the effect from certain areas of this photo. In other words, her face. So I'm gonna increase my brush size. I'm gonna select black as a foreground color and I'm using a soft round brush. And I'm simply gonna click a couple of times and this looks pretty good to me. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to create a new pixel layer and this pixel layer is the layer where we're gonna apply our face paint effect on. So let's create a new pixel layer and let's call this one neon face paint and let's draw something on this layer now i'm not going to use a soft round brush for this for this i'm going to use a brush with some texture which i found in my ink brushes and then the fifth one right over here and this brush also applies pen pressure so when i uh, press firmly you get this very thick strokes but when i press lightly you get these light strokes and the reason why these firm brush strokes are now erasing is because we have wet edges turned on so with this brush selected, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to paint my face paint um, strokes or my brush strokes. And I'm simply going to press hard and then I'm going to fade it out. Something like this. Maybe decrease the brush size for the second one. And I'm basically going to do the same thing until I have a nice brush stroke. Something like this looks pretty cool to me. Now let's try to apply this one on the other side as well. So maybe something like this and maybe another one. Something like this looks pretty good to me. And maybe add some stripes to her forehead. So maybe increase the brushes just a touch. And this looks pretty okay to me. Now, of course, these brush strokes are simply black. And we want to give these this awesome neon color. So for this, we're going to apply a recolor adjustment layer. So let's go to our adjustment layers at the bottom right over here. Let's click on recolor. And now we're going to change the hue to any color that we want. So let's change it to some very bright blue because somehow I really like this color. And what you see right now is that the whole image is actually turned blue, except everything where it's dark. And that is because we have our lightness set to 0%. Now, first, I want to clip this uh, recolor adjustment layer to our neon face paint. So let's click and drag it to the bottom right. And now it doesn't really look like anything is happening. But you can see that when I increase the lightness, you can see that the effects start showing in our black strikes or strokes as well. By the way, this video was brought to you by the Ultimate Brush Bundle. 100 plus realistic brushes that make photo manipulation fun for everyone. Add northern lights, clouds, stars, fireworks, smokes, lightning and so much more to your photos in just a click. Now 66% off. Link in the description. Now, let's set this one to 50% so we have the full opacity. And let's cross this off and let's press Command 0 to zoom out. Now, the next thing that we want to do to make it look like it's actually painted on the face is we want to change the blend mode. And I'm going to set the blend mode of this layer to color burn. And now you can see that when I zoom in, you can actually see some skin texture uh, through our brush strokes. And you can see that it goes from light to dark to wherever it's uh, shadowy, let's say. Now, to get this more neon effect, I want to create another copy of this layer. So I'm going to press Command J. And I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. And right now you see that we get this really nice bright color. So we get very much or we get way closer to actual neon colors. Now you can also see that right over here I painted too much. So I want to mask this part out. And because we have two separate layers with the same brush strokes on top uh, on them. If I would use my eraser tool right now in one of these brush uh, in one of these layers, you can see that only the effect of one layer is deleted. So I would have to mask it out from both layers to get the results that I want. So to solve this, I'm going to group both of my neon face paint layers by selecting both of them and pressing command G and I'm going to rename this group face paint 
and what i want to do now is create a group mask so i'm simply going to click on my group layer and then i'm going to click on my mask icon and now we have created a group mask which basically means that if we brush in with black so let me select another brush something like this and now you can see that once i brush in with black that both of these layers are actually masked out so that is the advantage of using a group mask now we want you to do the same right over here something like so looks pretty good to me and let's check the other side something like this and something like that and over here maybe brush some th some parts out of her hair and that looks pretty okay to me and over here we can just leave it like how it is so that is how to apply face paint now you might ask yourself how can we change the color of this thing well there are two ways to do this we can just go into our uh, recolor adjustment layer so we can basically just double click and change the color to whatever we like now let's say we want to turn it to yellow so i set this one to yellow i go into my overlay um, recolor adjustment layer and also set it to some kind of yellow and there we have this really nice uh, yellow orange uh, neon face paint let's say now there is another way how we can change this so this is basically uh, a two-step way to change the color so let me press command c a couple of times another way how to change the color is by adding an hsl adjustment layer to the group so i'm gonna click my top neon face paint layer and i'm gonna go to my adjustment layers and i'm gonna create an hsl adjustment layer and what we can do right now is simply change the hue to whatever we like and now we can also change the color but you can see that for instance the color yellow doesn't really get picked up and that is because our base color is blue so there are a couple of colors that we cannot really pick up yet if we go to the more purple side you can see that we get some yellowish color so you have to kind of figure out where to put the slider but this is basically just experimenting and finding the right color that you want all right thanks so much for watching i hope you learned something new and i hope you're gonna paint some awesome faces i'll see you in my next episode